Adam, first of all, congratulations on the move. Just what are the emotions like right now as you're obviously kind of wrapping up one chapter of your career here in New England, but getting ready to start an exciting new chapter in France? Yeah, so I, I, have, I feel mixed emotions. On one hand, I'm, I'm very happy uh, because it's a move that I, I've looked forward to. Uh, at the same time, it's never easy to say goodbye because uh, I had a great uh, experience here and I only keep great memories here from uh, New England. So mixed emotions, but in a positive way. Now, when these moves happen, it doesn't always work out that you get to say goodbye like you're going to get to tonight. So what does that mean to you that you're going to have this moment to go out and kind of have that goodbye with the fans? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's more than uh, about just being a part of the team, more than uh, just soccer, because uh, I hate uh, leaving uh, the environment that I felt very comfortable in without saying goodbye. And uh, uh, I think uh, if, you, if you look at the field, all goals that I scored uh, were team goals. Uh, I only finished this, this action, so I want to show some kind of gratitude for uh, for the players that uh, that helped me along the way, uh, the coaching staff, the technical staff, uh, everyone that uh, that's been involved in that um, in that adventure. Uh, so, you know, uh, it's a busy time for me, but uh, I had to. I felt like uh, I needed to to visit Boston for two three days in order to say goodbye. And I know when you came to New England a couple years ago, this was always kind of the idea, right? To use this as a launching pad to another move. So you ended up spending two and a half seasons here. It was that about the timeline you envisioned? Did this kind of go the way you'd hoped it would go in New England? Actually, yes. And uh, it's difficult to plan ahead, especially in sports, because it can change overnight. But in this case, everything clicked very well. And uh, uh, yeah, that was an original idea. Uh, even though I felt very comfortable here, I, I needed. Uh, I felt like I. Uh, I needed uh, needed some change. I wanted to, to to be back in Europe, and the staff, uh, the club, knew about it. So uh, I'm very happy with the way they've dealt with the with the transfer, and uh, I'm in front of a big chance to to show my name uh, in one of the top European leagues. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure that it will also help the revolution to use me as an example uh, for other players from Europe. Uh, the club can show them that it's possible to uh, to develop, to improve, and and, and to, to be sold to one of the best leagues in Europe. How's your French? Uh, let's talk about it in three, four months. <laughs> You've seen kind of how Revolution fans have continued to support Tejan Buchanan as he's gone to Bruges. How Revolution fans will continue to support Matt Turner at Arsenal. So wherever you go for the rest of your career, you feel like you'll be kind of repping the Revs and know you'll have that Revolution support. Yes, you know, I've always felt uh, the support from the fans, no doubt about that. So uh, I'm, you know, I, I, I only try to, to do the best I can on the field. And uh, uh, I hope that they, they were happy with, with the way I, I performed. And uh, I also hope and I'm also pretty confident that they will, they will support me along the, the way, whatever happens next.